Reaching almost 100 meters high, the Artemis project marks the beginning of a new lunar program. Comprising the Orion capsule and the Space Launch System rocket, it will be sent around the Moon on Monday from Florida, becoming the most powerful space rocket ever to leave Earth. I know that can sound cliche, but we're going to the Moon for all people, you know, and we've got this great international cooperative that's going together. Artemis 1 will fly three radiation-sensitive mannequins 40,000 miles beyond the far side of the moon and back as a test rehearsal for NASA's goal of sending the first woman and the first person of color to space by 2025. An interim second test flight, Artemis 2, will carry full crew members to the moon without landing in 2024, sending humans beyond low Earth orbit for the first time since Apollo 17 almost 50 years ago. Thanks to the Orion, the human spacecraft will be able to stay in place for a much longer period of time than in 1972. We can support a crew of four in the Orion capsule. We can support a 21-day mission, and Apollo wasn't built to support any long-duration mission. It was really about, you know, go to the moon, you know, set foot on the moon, get back in and return home. And for those wondering why NASA wants to go to space again, European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesquet said the mission will help NASA explore more ambitious destinations. We know that scientifically Mars is more interesting, no one says otherwise, but we first need to know how to do it on the Moon, to rehearse a bit, and going to the Moon will help us get to Mars. A fitting name for the space mission. In Greek mythology, Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo.